EFT processing for Sage Intact allows you to automate the creation of EFT files for your bank, leading to increased efficiency, accuracy and security. You can eliminate expensive paper checks and avoid duplicate data entry for a quick return on investment. It integrates seamlessly with Sage Intact Accounts Payable. But first, a little bit about ORCID. At this stage, we have over 7,000 sites running our modules around the world, and that is in over 80 countries. We have been writing software for Sage for over 30 years. And at this stage, we have 450 Sage business partners around the world supporting our software. We are based in Sydney, Australia, and have received many industry awards from Sage for the modules that we write. As recently as 2022, we received the Sage ISV of the Year in the Australia-New Zealand region. We have 20 integrated Sage add-ons. And why this is important for you is all the add-ons we write are written 100% in the Software Development Kit or API from the appropriate product. Of those 7,000 sites, 5,000 are using ORCID's EFT processing, and these customers are in over 80 countries. And the engine that we have written for Sage 300 EFT and Sage Intact EFT is shared, so the same source code is used for both the products. And we have over 800 maps. So this means from day one, we have already got over 800 bank formats around the world for our Sage Intact product. ORCID's EFT allows you to create EFT payment files in the format required by your bank. It integrates with the Sage Intact payment processing routines. Over 800 bank formats are supported and others can be created on request. We support domestic payments, cross-border payments, positive pay, NACHA, CPA 005, SEPA, ISO 2022, BPAY, etc. You can also create your own formats using ORCID's EFT processing. With Sage Intact, the vendor and banking details are held in the Sage Intact company database. And because we support user-definable screen labels, the fields on the vendor and bank records can be amended to reflect the bank terminology for the region that you're in and for the bank that you're working with. We have many security features. We audit who creates the EFT files, who amends the EFT details against the bank or against the vendor, plus who changes the EFT file formats. And we're using industry-leading WebAssembly technology, so our mapping engine is able to run in the browser. This means that your sensitive data, your vendor's bank account details, your own bank account details and payment details are not sent to a third-party site for formatting before being sent to the bank. We have developed EFT processing for Sage Intact in the Sage Intact environment, providing you with familiar Sage Intact look and feel plus the standard security and customization capabilities that you have within your Sage Intact module. It stores all the data within your Sage Intact database. And this is the menu that you have when you import the application into your company database. EFT processing works on your posted payments. So you go through your normal Sage Intact process for entering your bills and then applying payments to those bills, including all the different approval levels that you can set up for your bills and payments if you so wish. After we have a posted payment, then 
if the payment has been made for a vendor that's configured for EFT, for a bank that's been configured for EFT, then you'll be able to use the EFT AP Payment Request screen to select those payments and generate a file. And after generating the file, you can view the file, download the file and confirm the file. If there were any issues with the bank, you could come and hold the file, refresh the details after you've made changes to the vendor's details or the bank's details, and then re-download the file. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate now. After loading the ORCID EFT processing application and assigning the rights to the users who have access to EFT processing, you will have this menu item with these objects. The license screen is used to enter your license number and check the version you're running. EFT formats is used to load up those particular EFT formats that you're going to be using in this instance. For Canada, I've got the CANCPA 005, the standard format loaded, the balancing debit and credit version loaded, the Royal Bank of Canada pay match or positive pay uh, format and for America we've got the NACHA, the NACHA pre-note and the Bank of America positive pay. So you can have as many EFT formats as you need for your Sage Intact instance. And after loading the formats you would go ahead and link the formats to the appropriate bank. So for my 100 CHK bank, I'm going to be using both the NACHA and the NACHA pre-note formats, as well as the positive pay for the Bank of America. And for my 400 CHK bank account, which is a Canadian bank account, I'm going to be using the CANCPA format and the positive pay format. And if we edit one of these formats, you can see we have the uh, bank account. So this is your intact checking account. And we've configured the 100 CHK to work with the NACHA. And then you fill in the appropriate information that you need for the NACHA. So the bank's route number, the account number, and we can include things like the file name, how we want to call the file name, the file sequence number. So if your bank needs file sequence number, you can fill it in here, your company ID and any other information that that particular bank needs. And looking at the CAN CPA 005, we see we have uh, similar information. So for my 400 CHK account, I have filled in the information, this particular file I'm calling CAN CPA with the date and we can have uh, tooltips on the fields to help you enter the information. So the, for Canadian banks you need the destination data center code and you need to contact your bank for your particular data center code. So after filling in your EFT banks. You would then go to your accounts payable and configure your vendors. So against your vendors and I'm using my EFT details view which includes the bank account details that I have configured. So against the vendors that you're paying via EFT you would go ahead and configure them accordingly. So let's look first at the Officeworks Austin and on the ORCID EFT tab we're paying this particular vendor using the NACHA format and per vendor you select the format that you're going to pay them by and here's an example of a tooltip so for the NACHA format you need to know whether the destination account is a checking account or a savings account and you need to enter 22 or 32 accordingly. And having a look at one of the Canadian vendors, on the ORCID EFT tab we've selected the CAN CPA 005 format and we've filled in the relevant information for the EFT file for this CAN CPA 005 format. 
and this information can be imported using a vendor import which has the EFT fields in. So after configuring your EFT banks, your EFT formats and your AP vendors, then you're ready to create an EFT file. And EFT processing works on posted payments. The payments that you've already entered, either prepayments or payments applied to invoices. So for your posted payments, they've already been approved and posted. They would show in this list. And you can create an EFT file for a posted payment for a vendor who has been configured for EFT processing and for a bank that has been configured for EFT processing. And you would see these transactions on the EFT AP payment request. So the EFT AP payment request shows you those posted payments for vendors who are configured for EFT and for a bank account that's configured for EFT. And these are the payments that I can include in an EFT file. I can drill into the payment if I need to see any details on the payment before selecting it in an EFT file. I could drill into the vendor to make sure the EFT details are filled in correctly. But here I see that these, this is the file formats that uh, they're going to be included. So you can use these filters to select those only those payments that you want to select. You may want to select by bank or you may want to select by format or you may want to select by payment date or you could select all. So I'm just going to select a handful and some of my CPA 005 as well as this one. So you can see I have selected records across multiple banks and across multiple formats. So you don't have to do it bank by bank or format by format. And when I click generate, it's going to create me three different EFT files, one for Natcha, one for CAN CPA 005 and one for CAN RBC Payee Match. And you can see my message is saying that three files have been generated. And when I click OK, those payments that had been included in that EFT run will have now dropped off this list. And I could see those by looking at those payments that have been included in an EFT file. And these ones at the top are the ones that have just been included now. And here's payments that I have made previously that have been included in EFT files. So you can use all or included or not included in an EFT file, depending what you want to check on your payments. And after generating the file, you would go to your EFT file list. And here you see the three files that I've just created. My NACHA with four payments, my CAN CPA 005 with two included payments, and my CAN RBC Payee Match. So let's look at the NACHA file. You can click View to view the contents of that file and we can see all the details that have been included from the bank record, the EFT bank record, and from the different payment and vendor records. So that's for Officeworks Austin, and this is for BHP Broken Hill, and so on. And if you're happy with the contents of that file, you can click Download. And download creates a correctly formatted file for your particular bank. And here's the NACHA that I've just downloaded. We can open it up and we can see it contains those four payments and it's been formatted based on the way the NACHA needs that file to be formatted. Once I downloaded it, the status went from new to exported. If the bank confirms that file's okay, I could just click confirm 
and that would be the end of the process. But if the bank said the vendor's bank account details on the second entry were not correct, I could click hold, then go back to that vendor, correct the information, click refresh, which would create me a new file that I can then download and upload to the bank. And that concludes the demonstration of EFT processing for accounts payable in Sage Intact. Please go to orchid.systems for more information on EFT processing for Sage Intact or Orchid Systems.